Well, it looks like Funko is going all in on the three liter sodas. We got our first NYCC 2022 reveals. Let's go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are talking about the first reveals that we've gotten for NYCC 2022. Now there's all kinds of news swirling around the community. They're even continuing to do reveals as we are filming this video right now. But we got to talk about one of the biggest things going on right now, and that is they're dropping not one, but two three liter Funko sodas for NYCC. We were really hoping that Funko wasn't going to overdo it, but here we are, and they're dropping two three liter sodas. So let's break down all of the soda reveals and get into the list. So if you guys have been paying attention to the Funko community whatsoever, you will have seen the first three liter that came out not too long ago for Funkon. We got the Iron Giant and that actually sold out pretty quickly on Funko's website and there's been a lot of people looking for that chase. As a result, Funko has seen the hype and they're dropping Baymax this week for D23 and now on top of that we're getting two more three liter sodas, both of which were revealed today in day one of the NYCC 2022 reveals. The first one we have right here is Maleficent as the Dragon coming in at 15,000 pieces, officially making it the largest piece count for a single three liter soda that Funko has dropped thus far. And at first glance, I actually do really like this three liter soda. I think the dragon is a perfect character choice for a larger character in three liter soda form. And not to mention this chase actually looks really good. It's gonna be a diamond chase, little bit of a mold change with the chase variant here as it does have some of the green fire at the bottom of the base. But the most important thing that I think is gonna attract a lot of Disney fans into getting this soda is that it's gonna pair very well with the first Maleficent soda that they dropped, the three inch regular version. This is gonna look awesome with the dragon behind it. So if you're a Disney fan, I would go after this because I think that would be a killer display. Now, for all you Marvel fans, we actually have three Marvel sodas here that we have to break down. The first one being the second three liter soda that was revealed today, and this is Juggernaut from the X-Men. Now, I still can't believe we're getting two three liter sodas. Guys, let me know down in the comment section below if you think two three liter sodas for one con is a little bit too much. I think one is perfect, but two? Now Funko's getting a little greedy, I think. But we have Juggernaut here coming in at 10,000 pieces. Funko is gonna be releasing 25,000 three liter Funko soda bottles for one event. Juggernaut here for the common is actually my favorite. I like the common better than the chase. The chase is him with his damaged armor here. Um, no mold change pretty much except for the missing piece on his helmet. Um, kind of a lazy chase to be honest, but nonetheless, probably some Marvel fans will be excited as this is officially the first Marvel 3 liter soda. So guys, I want to hear everyone's thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you guys think of the 3 liter sodas and are you going to be adding Maleficent or Juggernaut to your collection? Now moving into the regular sized sodas, we have a bunch of cool ones to talk about. Starting off with Phoenix. Phoenix is coming in here at 8,000 pieces. I think 8,000 is a perfect piece count for NYCC. I think that right there is just the perfect number and Phoenix here is looking pretty awesome. The can art looks fantastic. And uh, I think this is actually one of the better Marvel Funko sodas that they've done thus far. The Chase is going to be her in her red suit while the Common is her in her green suit. And for the Chase, she also has the yellow eyes. So I think Funko did a great job despite there being no mold change. I think a lot of X-Men and Marvel collectors are gonna be very excited for this one. Moving on to the next soda, we have Shuri from Wakanda Forever. Now, thanks to major companies like Hasbro, Le Lego, and Funko, it's pretty much no secret that we know Shuri is going to be the new Black Panther for the Wakanda Forever Black Panther movie coming out in November. And we have Shuri here in soda form for the very first time. Now, right off the bat, the detail on this soda looks absolutely killer. It is going to be 100% a must-have for my Marvel collection. It's coming in at a very weird number, 10,750 pieces 
for the run and it is going to have a glow in the dark chase. I would have loved to see a Chad Mc, Chadwick Boseman Black Panther soda before any other character. Um, however, we are getting Shuri. Hopefully, we do get a uh, regular Black Panther at some point in the future. But nonetheless, this looks awesome. And uh, I think that glow chase is actually going to look pretty cool as well. Moving on to the next soda. It seems like we can't have any sort of Funko event without a staple of getting a black light soda and NYCC is going to be no different as we are getting the black light black light grape ape soda grape ape was actually one of the first soda characters that Funko ever released it was a very small run I believe it was 5,000 pieces and it had a metallic chase well now, once again, we're getting another Grape Ape, so if you missed out on the OG soda, you can grab the Blacklight one for your collection coming up in October. This one is going to be limited to 5,500 pieces. Very strange piece count once again, um, and the chase is just going to be a different variation of the colors. This is going to go well with the most recent Blacklight sodas that they dropped. We got Huckleberry Hound for San Diego Comic-Con, and we also got the Blacklight Yogi Bear for Funcon. So if you enjoyed picking those up, now you have Grape Ape to add to your collection. The last soda that we have here, and perhaps my favorite reveal of the day, is a DC character, and it's making its his debut in soda form and that is the Green Lantern aka Jon Stewart. Now we have gotten a Green Lantern soda before. We actually have Hal Jordan and I actually have one of him right here. I love this soda. Now unlike the Hal Jordan soda, Jon Stewart here is going to have a glow in the dark chase which I just think is going to look phenomenal. I don't think the glam shot's doing it justice. I think the glow in person is going to be truly legendary. This one's coming in at 9,500 pieces. Once again, a very strange number. Um, have no idea what the odds mean for what the chase is going to be limited to. Probably somewhere around 1,800, 2,000 pieces. But I think this one is awesome. I'm very excited for this one. Definitely a must-have for my collection. So guys, that is going to do it for these soda reveals thus far for NYCC. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel to keep up with all the NYCC news. There's a lot of stuff going on right now with all the Fright Night news and everything, and we're definitely very excited that for that because we are actually going to New York Comic Con this year. We're going to be meeting up with all the other guys for Pop Force One, and it is going to be fantastic. If you guys don't know what Pop Force One is, it is a live stream between myself, Professor Josh, the Pop and Duo, and Rock and Row. We live stream every single Thursday night on one of our four channels. Make sure you're subscribed to all four of us because this week's live stream is going to be insane. We have all this stuff to break down, so you guys are definitely not going to want to miss out on that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Overall, I think it's a pretty good lineup. I'm just a little weary of them dropping multiple three liter sodas for one event. Coming in at $40 a pop, plus they do take up a lot of room. You're definitely gonna have to be selective for which ones you go after if they're gonna continue dropping them at this pace. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Tomorrow we're gonna be breaking down all of the NYCC pop reveals. So you guys are definitely not gonna wanna miss out on that video. And with that being said, guys, don't stop shooting until you score. We'll see you all very soon.